Okay, you're good. Okay, so we're gonna look at a lumbar vertebrae for the lab. This is the lumbar vertebrae right side up. We want the spinous process that's in the back to come either straight out or slightly down. We don't want the spinous to be sticking upwards. So all vertebrae, the spinous will come will either come down or slightly down like this one here. So from our lecture, we were talking about the anterior component, which is the body. This whole structure right here on the front, the sides, the top, this is all the body. We can draw our line here. Everything behind my probe, this is all posterior elements. We can see that we have the two pedicles here. This is all pedicle. Here's a pedicle on this side. If we look at the pedicles from the side, we have notches. We have the superior vertebral notch, which is right here. We also have the inferior vertebral notch. When we stack the vertebrae on top of one another, these inferior and then a superior vertebral notch will create an intervertebral foramen or an IVF for the spinal nerve to come out of and go out through the body. Then if we turn the vertebrae this way, coming off of the pedicles, we have the lamina on both sides right here, that sheet of bone. These are gonna to fuse together in the center and the backside and give rise to this process right here called the spinous process. If we go back to the pedicle and laminar junction, we have two more processes that come out the side. These are called the transverse processes on both sides. Then coming out from the pedicle and the lamina, we have two process, the other process that comes out with the transverse process is the superior articular process. So here it is on this side. We can see it over here on this side. Then on the posterior view of the um, superior articular processes, we have the flat smooth surface right here. And these are called the superior articular facets. If we go down the lamina towards the inferior side, coming off of the inferior corners of the lamina, we have the inferior articular processes. Then facing anterior on those processes, we have the inferior articular facet. These inferior articular facets face anterior, that way they can match up with the superior articular facets that face posterior. Then the last structure we have with the vertebrae is we have what's called the vertebral foramen. This is this big opening here where the spinal cord can pass through. This is made up of the posterior body, the pedicles on both sides, and then the lamina, and then capped in the back with the spinous process.